World War Z. The theme is in Philadelphia. But it's not all filmed in Philadelphia. We built the cabin of the plane on a soundstage. And then we basically just shot it in order, like once they boarded the plane to him wrapping up our hand, getting his epiphany, to making the phone call, then it was the pilots, to ultimately the zombie attack. And you know, the audience knows, once the dog starts barking, you know <laughs> at this part of the movie what's gonna happen. But the suspense is still there, how it's gonna happen. It's all about the journey in that moment, a journey of suspense. Mark was very concerned. And is the audience going to understand that there's nothing else that these people could do other than throw a grenade to try and save themselves? And ultimately the side of the cabin was just rigged for an explosion for the grenade that there can be exploding. That was all shot in camera. You have so much spectacle and so much scope in the first two acts of the movie that we thought it would be really interesting to make it much more intimate and suspenseful. You now know what the zombies are capable of and now you can't get any bigger and make it even a bigger spectacle so now you bring it all back to the suspenseful moment between the Z and your hero. I think these things have a weakness. And him trying to prove a theory. I think they're spreading a pathogen. And that pathogen needs a healthy host. Yeah, theory. But even if you're right, I mean, infecting the populace with a lethal illness is not exactly a cure. It's not a cure. It's camouflage. Jerry pitches us this idea based on what he's witnessed around the world. And the idea that these zombies were like all predatory animals. Ravitz has more on why health officials are hesitant to make the change. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, said the coronavirus task force will consider asking Americans to wear masks. Will we get in a situation where we have enough masks? We I believe there will be some very serious we'll consideration about more broadening this More recommendation of using like masks. The idea contradicts street. what the CDC and other experts have been saying will avoid around the world. And the idea that these zombies, like all predatory animals, will avoid people who are diseased. Deadly pathogen with a high mortality rate. Staying for months. Dr. Fauci himself has previously said that a healthy person wearing a mask could make them more likely to get the virus because they may touch their face or mouth to adjust it. And there really isn't... The idea that these zombies, like all predatory animals, will avoid people who are diseased. They'll avoid the people that are diseased. So if you have the disease... I don't think we know exactly um, really how much protection it provides, because the face... People. I mean, that's what they do when you're in a store sometimes. People, some of them still do that. They are frightened to death. And they want to eat you alive if you don't have a face mask on. Diseased. Deadly pathogen with a high mortality rate. A curable. In nature, these parasites there is a cure, will actually however. control their hosts to go in certain directions. This mask doesn't 
um, create a tight seal on your face. Some experts have suggested a person who is asymptomatic could benefit from covering symptomatic could we have all the yes, something. Problem is, do you see one person there without a mask? What's the matter with B-Wing? B-Wing is out of bounds. I mean, it's completely taken over. Talent, you read. But curable. Curable. In nature, these parasites will actually control their hosts to go in certain directions so that they can infect a new host. And there really isn't often a point in trying to infect a host that when you ignore it is already sick when you start to let it pass by you we need to try it we have all we could want problem is they're all stored in b-wing what's the matter with b-wing b-wing is out of bounds i mean it's completely taken over by zombies but in order to person who is asymptomatic we person who is asymptomatic have suggested a person be taken over by zombies. But in order to engage in this experiment, we have to get him in there and get him out. Again, you're playing that, that building very much on suspense. You constantly want to create suspense around every corner. Action! Who is asymptomatic? Is that not the feeling that you feel if you go into a store unmasked? That uh, why don't you not wear? How come you won't wear a mask? I just, I don't know, just don't want to be bothered. Like, I don't want those zombies in my head to be following me around like this guy, because that's really what it is, the zombies in your own head chasing you. Imagine this is zombies in your head chasing you. That's what this scene is inside of your head. <laughs> Put the mask on. What's that? I can't hear you. I, don't, I can't cover my face. I'm exempt. I have breathing problems. You're welcome. That's how you defeat it. Let's put it to practice. And the guinea pig that he uses to try this out on is himself. He's going to inject himself. And he is confronted by a killer zombie. It's just the two. 
two of them. Uh, there's no way out. It's always for the record. The scene where we're shooting today really comes to the climax of the film, and it is uh, the moment when Jerry's theory about how to defeat uh, the zombies is put into practice. And the guinea pig that he uses to try this out on is himself. He's got to You guys don't really give people a problem without a mask? No, so, well, no, we do, actually. I should have said something. Just step down here for Then I would have said something to you. Where's your mask? Exactly. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm kind of down to back and forth. Well, I have an exemption card for having a breathing problem. Okay, gotcha. So, but when people come in with that exemption, do you give them an issue with that, too? Honestly, I've never come across it yet. When someone comes in the door, I'll say, hey, you got me from the I'm sorry, I forgot. You know what I mean? We haven't really had any issues with it. Yeah. Confronted by a killer zombie, it's just the two of them, and there's no way out. From point A, which is your vehicle, to, to point B, which is through those front doors of every store that you think you're going to meet a zombie. Until you surpass through the door and get past it, and then continue walking without your mask, as the entire store is zombified with their mask on so that's the cure and then Jerry here he's going to show you how he defeats it there's the Walmart door right there there's the enemy in your head right there he's a theater actor but he did a lot of pantomime a lot of movement and he's just has I incredible you think expression on his meet. face, and I thought that you felt there was a human being once in there, and now it's all gone. Ain't that true? He was alive too. He had a life, and that's why I put a wedding ring on him. And it's very subtle, but he bangs sometimes the wedding ring against the window. That you feel like there's a whole history to this man. There was a family. They might have been kids, and now he's just this zombie. And that you feel like the loss of humanity in that moment between them. What I think this movie does really well. That's what happens when you walk in the store without one. Everybody decides to just do it themselves because they were told to put it on, and then they just walk through. I just, I just don't want to be bothered. I just, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna comply. I'm just gonna do it anyway. And then Brad Pitt's looking at him like, "Piece of humanity in that moment between them." Right, I'm going in with that. I mean, I, well, I, I, it I, I, draws from biological inspiration. Do we imagine, because we see this movie, that there are threats from emerging infectious diseases? Well, that's already a given. 60% of our diseases are from things which are jumped from animals into humans. Of course, we have to go on and ask whether those parasites would be controlling our behavior. But if it's going to kill half of all our society, that itself will control our behavior. <laughs> Zombies are often associated with dystopia and, you know, a dark vision of the future. And this film is scary, it's thrilling, it's realistic, but at the end of the day, there's something very optimistic about the ingenuity of human beings. Right here. I'm an optimist and I always believe there's hope. And stick, but at the end of the day, there's something very optimistic about the ingenuity of human beings. That's when he gets over it. When you just walk straight through the stores, and this, just look at the movie as everybody the every one of these zombies represents somebody that just doesn't think twice about it and just puts the mask on, and they're all just coming at you. All those thoughts inside of your head of feeling judged, feeling anxiety, worry, doubt, whatever, someone's going to come up to you tell you to put it on like you're going to get locked up for it. These are all the demons in your head coming at you. 
as you're walking by people. But when you start to walk straight through them, like Brad does, without even letting it affect you at all, this is what it represents. He's defeated it. Now... I'm an optimist and I always believe there's hope. And that's what I feel Jerry Lane's character is. He's someone who has seen so many places that have been in crises, but ultimately came out of it and, and he's still hopeful and positive. How can I solve this? How can I change it? How can we, as human beings, come together and survive? The war isn't over. The plague isn't over. Now there's a way to beat them. Now we can all work together and end this war. Target, mission to engage. All clear. Line them up. Line them up. It's not just a horror movie. It touches on many layers of thematic stories. And change it. How can we, as human beings, come together and survive? The war isn't over. The plague isn't done yet. We're still battling disease. But now we have found a camouflage. Now there's a way to beat them. Now we can all work together end this war. So, you know, you will have that, that cross factor in terms of your audiences who want to come and watch it because they see it from very different perspectives. I think the most enjoyable part of, about filming this movie has been that it, it's such an environment of collaboration. We show up and we have a scene to do. We see them operating at the same The best way is the same That's an actor's dream. And by the way, So they were all really incredible support, and um, I'm really thankful to all of them. Cut. Statue of Liberty or Snowman. Declared martial law. Oh, that's where they're down there in Center City right now. Uh, deer. Explosion that starts it all. Remember, I was talking about plan, plan A. Well, they're going to plan B because plan A was to, I think it was to literally blow everything up and get rid of the population. But see, now. The Bible is coming true, so they're going with plan B, which is the spiritual side of it, and not the literal form of everything being destroyed. Because once you understand and interpret the Bible as spiritual, these events turn from being literal to spiritual.
Did you see four of them? It's the same worldwide. Is anyone doing better than we are? We've lost the East Coast. Moscow's still dark. Life as we know it will come to an end in 90 days. It's on us to change that. I can't leave my family. Don't pretend your family is exempt. Staff. I can't leave my family. Staff. I can't leave my family. Staff. I can't leave my family. Don't pretend your family is exempt. Your family is exempt. When we talk about the end of humanity. from this installation. Pretty obvious nobody back home bothered to read it. If I could get into Russia, where would I start? Russia's a black hole. I need answers. Guns are half measure. You with the CIA? But well, they're not with me. Current. You with the CIA? But well, they're You with the CIA? But well, they're not with me. Current. Is there anything left up there? thing started. Maybe we could kill it. I think these things have a weakness. Every human being we save. Honey! It's one less to fight. Dr. Susan Klein said it's possible. Respiratory. Selling novel that's got everything you loved about the title. And nothing else. A film with so many production problems. People were genuinely surprised when it wasn't a complete disaster. Meet Jerry Lane. He's just your average, everyday, super attractive, scarf-wearing, Spanish-speaking, airplane piloting, sharp shooting, skull bashing, <laughs> armor crafting, arm chopping, prisoner interrogating, surgery doing, slow motion having, antidote making, eagle-eyed, stay-at-home dad. All you do is make pancakes in the yeah, morning. Really good at it. <laughs> Travel the globe with Brad Pitt and the film screenwriters as they stumble from set piece to set piece, tied together by the flimsiest evidence ever. There's a memo. Sent from this installation. It had the word zombie in it. Do you know anything about it? It was an email. Not a memo. Come on. Watch Brad Pitt survive an unsurvivable apocalypse thanks to a constant stream of life-saving coincidences like never hitting traffic in the middle of mass hysteria, finding an RV with the keys and a loaded gun inside, this friendly mugger showing him where to find medicine, this friendly Mexican man taking him in no questions asked, these fast zombies who slow down as soon as they're about to catch him, this small child headshotting a zombie on top of him, this plane dropping a ladder down to save him mid-takeoff, this Israeli soldier killing a zombie about to eat him, surviving this car crash, surviving this plane crash, surviving this spike in his stomach, and shooting up with a randomly picked virus that happens to be curable while also serving as zombie camouflage. Wait, is that Matthew Fox? So get ready for a by-the-numbers action movie full of PG-13 violence and none of these awesome things from the book. Freeport Safe Zone. It's the ending scene. This isn't the end. Who? 
We still don't know how it started. Well, yes, we do. Has created a vaccine From China. that works as a kind of camouflage, making people who receive it invisible to the infected. We bought ourselves some time. Volunteer forces are delivering the vaccine to areas that have been cordoned up. Well, I look at it like this. When World War I ended on 11-11-1918, it didn't actually end until seven months later on June 28, 1919. But it started to go in a direction it needed to. History repeats itself all the time. And movies do come true. He must have missed his family for like 40 days or something. The battle of Moscow is still raging. The initial test of the so-called camouflage have been launched. This is the road to Damascus. So there's still zombies, but it's time to stand in their face. Notice how the test is, don't, don't do it. Don't do it and stand in the face of your own worst enemy in your head and walk straight through the door without your mask on. This is what you'll see in your head, but it's nothing. They can't do anything anymore because this is the test. When the big bad boys see that their zombies don't scare you anymore, they know that once you finally realize it's in your head. Others have found a way to push back. <laughs> you notice the fire that came down from heaven and the V. Others starting to push back because fire is coming from heaven out of the mouth. Go ahead. Do it. Light them up. Light them up. Make the financial feel. If you can fight, fight. Hello? Is there anyone out there hearing this? Help each other. Just because.